This uh, is about the Elgin Joliet and Eastern Railway in Gary, Indiana at Kirkyard. This is the mile post. Uh, this is a group picture you're going to see next. Boy, look at me. Uh, not well preserved, huh? Those guys look good, really. There's the official EJ&E &E, uh, Railway logo. This next photograph is our uh, your dear friend Danny McCullough. I worked with Danny and Howard Burleson all for a number of years. Hmm, Wally Newton. Boy, he's taking it easy. Ted Donowski. They call Teddy Wonder Bread. There's uh, uh, Jim Williams and uh, Glenn Emmons. Malachi Morris is here. Another uh, mile post. Joe Santos, uh, Switchman Kirkyard. There's Double A, Aubrey King. There's a 187. I could sleep good in that. 323 being rebuilt in the roundhouse at Gary. 459 uh, on the road line. That's 1920, uh, Kirkyard. There's the office building where us guys started every day or night. That's B Yard in 1920. There's a picture of the hump at Kirkyard. Uh, the engine's on the pit, I think. I'm not sure. There's the pit at uh, Kirkyard. There's 95th Street, South Chicago. Uh, that may be the annex tracks over there in the tin mill. Uh, I think that's 1920 or 17 in Kirkyard. That's B Yard, 1920, Gary Mill. There's Ma Malachi Morris and somebody at the West End. There's Glenn Emmons in an engine. There's the office in uh, site uh, Gary Sheet and Tin. Uh, I think that's a tin mill. Well, Jack took that out in the inland, maybe. I think that's a tin mill, not sure. That's uh, back of a 300. That's pretty there. It's uh, yeah, real pretty. It was one of the older pictures. Uh, this might be coming out of Pine. Uh, I don't know. This is it, probably Clark, Clark Road. There's a 446 uh, road line. There's the inside of the engine, the pan over there to the controls. Uh, boy, these 600s, we all worked on them. I worked them on a lot. I slept a little bit in one of these. I guess you have too. <laughs> And there's the roundhouse in Gary. These are the new engines, seven, oh, they were new, 703. These Alcos, the RS2s, were 12-cylinder, um, 1,500 horsepower, four-cycle engines with four traction motors. Very capable, powerful engines. I think they were wore out when we got them. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's a dual uh, motor in there. I had two engines in those. That's my favorite 185. I spent many hours in it sleeping. I think this was the, uh, I think it was during the strike, that uh, caboose. There's Gary. I think that's a radio remote control engine. There's a maintenance away crane and uh, car. Then we're on the road line in uh, Kirkyard, Gary. Again, the road line. There's Joe again, our friend Joe Santos. There's the T5 uh, electric unit, the slug they called them. There's an old uh, EJ steamer. That's at Gateway Park in Gary, Indiana. Uh, I'm not sure who this is, an engineer. There's a uh, Jerry Wiles, I think, a super hogger. Boy, he can sure drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> it 
There's Kirkyard, Gary, Indiana, 1917. 1917 again. There's Pat McPhillips. Uh, work with Pat a lot. I think one of these guys is Jim McNew, or there's Eddie uh, Eddie Jones, Switchman Kirkyard. Yeah, I don't know. So I think this is at the uh, Y turnout, and I think this is uh, perhaps Pine Yard. There's a maintenance way. Now, I think this is Clark Road. I think that's a pit in Gary. Westgate Tower, entrance into Kirkyard. There's again Westgate Tower, the plant as they called it. There's the retarder tower in Kirkyard. Here's a view from the rip track toward the pit. There's a satellite photo. There's a ship canal in South Chicago, South Works. It's the uh, generator there at State Line. At the this picture is uh, the strike, and so is this one. Uh, my 1986. I'm not sure. Here's the the Jew Kaplan uh, Scrap Company. One of these guys is Bobby Renslow. Here's the plant again. <coughs> There's the West End Tower. Boy, we've all, all been there. I think it's the plant again. I think Jack shot this out of a caboose or uh, the West End. Thanks for watching our slideshow about DJ and E uh, at Gary, Indiana, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is Norm.